<laughs> Hi everybody, Extra. this is Robin Moses, and I'm here with Compassionista, and there was, there's a little, there's a little ant, it might, why, okay, so, I'm starting this tutorial with Date Night by Vinylex, and, <laughs> and I have some, um, give me that, some black and bright yellow paint, there we go. And um, this is going to be a quick and fun tutorial. So, so with the white, with the yellow, I'm going in and I'm just doing some little lines like this, and making little dots. Now, when it dries, you're, it's going to dry translucent. So it's going to be a green, yellow, and where it's thicker, it's going to be yellower. Where it's thinner, it'll be greener. And then on this one, I have this one is nude, and I don't have anything on this nail. What? So I'm going to put paint on this nail. Now, if you're painting uh, acrylic paint on a nude nail, you have to put a nice amount of top coat on it. So I have to remember that I didn't put any clear coat on here. And I'm going just across with a stroke like this to make it look a little bit like fur, but like neon fur. If you want to have it pop a little more, I would put like a white underneath it. But I kind of like this. So I'm going to do like that. And then the other ones, I'm going to dot 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 and just finish this out like this and I will meet you back and just make a real fun quick uh, summer spring bright design Woo -woo. okay so now with black I'm gonna go in and touch around and you'll see how this is turned green and then where it was thicker it's a little bit yellow green and it just gives it enough hint of color to look bright and cheerful. And I haven't done anything in the animal playlist for a while, and it's getting warmer out, so we gotta get them in there. So for this one, I will push and then pull up, and then push and push in and pull up and touch them. And lightly go in and push down and then go in pull up and pull up and then pull up and then go down and follow that through and you'll have a leopard print like that. Then um, when I have it all taken out, I'm going to go in with a more a brilliant yellow and that will be secondary. The brilliant yellow will go and then I can touch in just a little bit here and there just to like lighten up areas and then I can decide how much yellow I want and what areas I want it in and then go in and do the same thing if I wanted to into the accent nails. Just to give it dimension and make it look more hand painted and less stamped. And that's what I aspire to always do. And, and so anyways, you can get the brushes at robinmosesnailart.com and I only use two for all of my tutorials. And if you guys know that and you see the questions asked, can you please help me answer them by saying that to others? Because I keep getting I keep saying it in my videos, but I keep getting so many emails with this question, and I don't know if I sound like a parrot. I am so sorry, but I don't know where people see the answers the most, so I try to do it in my videos. So there is this, and I will finish that this way, and I will top coat and meet you back. Boom. See? Isn't that cute? It looks fluorescent in this light. Okay, so how cool is this? This is like the funnest beginning of summer, just bright animal print design. Um, I have one coat on, and I'm gonna put a quick coat on before she leaves, um, but we are in a hurry. She, Miss Tina, I mean, Miss Compassionista is always in a hurry, so this, not, not much longer though, right? Right. Right, so anyways, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you like these and try them. If you do, show me at Robin Moses Nail Art on Instagram, and I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye. Boop.